A lot of people on social media that do movie-related reviews or coverage have been putting out stuff like this lately. Making movies is hard. Stop doing these lists. And, of course, they're referring to the worst movies of 2023 because every year you can always find articles about the best and the worst of the year given modern Hollywood and the state it's in you end up with more worst lists than good lists, especially when you take a look at the landscape with movies such as the American Society. I'm not making this up. This is the actual quote. You can see it here. Of Magical Negroes. The American Society of Magical Negroes. Basically a racist Harry Potter. That's that's what it kind of looks like to me. It is a racist Harry Potter movie. And it's embarrassing that this even got made. Now, judging by the effects of the movie, this thing actually cost a little bit of money. So it's going to be even more hilarious when it fails. Uh, but basically, the premise of the movie is that these there are a there is a society made up of people, and they all have magical powers. And what do they do with them? Well, they go around looking for white people that are uncomfortable, and they use their powers to make them comfortable because if they don't exist, apparently all the white people will rise up and take everybody out. This big, crazy myth that's being pushed all the time by the mainstream. I, I keep hearing about all of these uh, hate-filled white people, but I never see them. There's a big gap in the market for what they claim is there and isn't. I'm still waiting for this uh, big, big threat, but apparently it doesn't show up. This is a real Hollywood movie, by the way, and it's got 6.2 million views over the past five days and 4.9 thousand upvotes to 68 thousand downvotes, and the comments are not pretty. Some Cosmic Book News, Magical Negro's movie getting destroyed on YouTube. People are shocked by the content and can't believe the movie was actually made. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> me too. I can't believe this is a real thing either. But it is. It exists. And it probably cost hundreds of millions of dollars to make. <laughs> somebody, somebody read this script and said, let's go. Let's do it. Make this movie. Uh, this movie is going to be a catastrophic failure at the box office. Uh, no one is going to want to go watch this. It's going to be hilarious and a lot of fun when we get to mock the box office and make fun of it. And then all the cancel pigs will run out and call everybody racist for not liking the racist movie. So I'm, I'm already giving you a preview of the content that's going to happen when this movie drops. But for now... Uh, we can take a look at some of the shocked people who watched this god-awful shitty trailer, uh, which had a lot to say about uh, calling who white people the most dangerous animal on the planet. That is a quote from the trailer. Very, very racist, but they say this isn't. Uh, a lot of the uh, cancel pigs out there, they say that this is not a racist movie. And uh, you need to you need to hate yourself and go watch this movie, basically. So, uh, disliked into oblivion. It's at 61,000 dislikes right now, right? Come back and look at that. 68,000. It's went up. It'll probably hit 100,000 as, as more people become aware of this piece of shit movie. Look, at of course, it won an award. It's an official selection of the 2024 Sundance Film Festival. Because, of course, it's getting a lot of backlash. 
Uh, let's take a look at some of the comments from that trailer that have been pulled here from Cosmic Book News. As a black American man, let me say how disappointed I am that YouTube removed the dislike button. States a comment that has 666 likes. I can't believe Hollywood is going broke when they are pumping out instant classics like this. A comment with 1.7K likes adds, I get it now. This is how we stop racisms by making modern entertainment so terrible that we can all come together to trash it. Another comment with a lot of likes says, Hollywood, why do our movies keep losing money? Also, Hollywood, that's a damn good point. Here's another comment that... I fully agree with because it's true. Uh, Just remember that there was a pitch meeting where filmmakers explained the premise and the producers actually said, sounds good, keep talking. That's a damn good point. That's the truth too because this movie, it's not like one person. So somebody came into a room, I'm guessing of people, and laid out what they wanted to do. And multiple people said, yes, this sounds great. Uh, but there were people that that group, whoever whoever made this movie, let's just say it was like one guy's script. Uh, it would have been a script. It would have went to some producer guy. He would have read it, said, wow, this is amazing. Probably would have showed it to his or her boss. And they would have showed it to somebody. And then it would have went into like a pitch board or something. So like multiple people, lots of people. Tens of twenties of people said, absolutely. Let's give this movie hundreds of millions of dollars. (laughs) And then, you know, you see the Hollywood box office track level for every year go down and get worse and worse and worse. And it's like, I wonder why that is, huh? Hmm. Mind blowing. It's hard to fathom how this seemed like a great idea to so many. Anyone else as shocked as I am. This is a real movie. Look at this. This is their Harry Potter card. Like, who the hell? I can't wait. March 22nd, 2024. I can't wait to uh, watch this movie and not give it money to just experience how bad it is, at least for free. Uh, No one, I mean, are they hoping that people will actually go to the theater to watch this like because they don't like it? This is uh, wild to me that, This exists, but it does. Here we are. Here we are. A real movie called The Society, The American Society, Magical Rose. All right. Anyway, what are your thoughts on this movie? Have you seen the trailer? Because it exists. It is real. Here it is again on YouTube so that you can see that it is a real thing. Uh, How racist trash like this keeps getting made is beyond me, but, you know, it's a strange world that we live in. Anyway, that is pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all of this. I'd like to hear from you. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and Locals, and I will see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.